Right, this is my DIY wood lathe. Uh, I made it all from scraps I junk picked from my dad's garage and some old things I had laying around. Um, right here I've got a 140th horsepower general electric motor that turns at I think 1800 RPM. Uh, I just put a, put a plug on the end of it and I just plug it in. Uh, it's the speed isn't variable. Yeah, I guess that's the way it goes. Found this angle iron in my dad's garage, so I took it and I bolted it to some two by fours I had. Then to raise the tool rest, another piece of angle iron I uh, stole from my dad's garage. I put this uh, board underneath. I bolted it all together with aircraft nuts, uh, so it doesn't fall apart uh, from vibrations. Uh, it was a $2 box of screws and bolts I bought at a garage sale. Whenever I go to a garage sale, if I see nuts and bolts in a box, I just buy the whole box. Uh, I've got tons of cabinets up there filled with nuts and bolts that I bought at a garage bought over the years at garage sales. Um, the headstock, I had this piece of aluminum. Uh, it's okay. It's a little crooked. Uh, I'm going to make a better one. And uh, I filed some teeth in the end of it and what I do is I cut the end of the piece of wood round like this to fit in the center and then the uh, teeth grab onto the wood works okay not great uh, then for the tailstock I have this 2x4 uh, a friend of mine in Oklahoma needed some tool bits for a metal lathe so I traded him some tool bits uh, for some bearings this is actually a bearing that spins around I just drilled a hole in uh, the center of this 2x4. There's a bolt. You can see the bolt in the top there going through. And then uh, this on the bottom just holds it on. Uh, the tailstock needs to be a bit better. Uh, it tends to slip and sometimes causes the uh, workpiece to become off-center, which causes a little bit of problems. Uh, but as a whole, it works pretty good. Not bad for $0.00. I do have a metal lathe in my basement. I'm going to make a better chuck than this. Uh, since this thing works pretty good, uh, I'm going to invest a little bit more time and energy into improving it. Um, I think I'm going to put an angle piece right here to help support the tailstock a little bit better. But just goes to show what you can do with something you get for free. Uh, if you ask around enough, eventually someone's going to give you stuff that you can use to make some pretty cool projects. Uh, I've never turned on a wood lathe before, uh, so these are kind of sort of the end results. This is just a, was a square piece of pine uh, that I put in there. I think this was the second time I used it. I just turned a couple beads to uh, practice doing it. Um, cut off of this piece of old pine that I had. I was using this to tamp down uh, gravel and some fence posts I was putting in a long time ago. And I quickly found out that uh, the tool rest was too far away from the workpiece. So what I do is I just set this right here and I put a C-clamp on it to get the tool closer to the workpiece. Uh, it helps keep the vibration down. So I may take, I may take uh, this angle iron and turn it around. I'm not sure. But uh, this was the first piece that I turned and uh, I got pretty good results. Then I turned this one. This was the second piece I turned. I, I just practiced doing a little cove. Then a bottle shape right there. It's kind of slightly bottle shaped. And then uh, uh, a bead right there. It's not too bad, I guess. Then uh, I went to my dad's house. By the way, if you haven't already noticed, my dad's old garage, he's got two of them, is a constant source of free junk for my projects. Uh, pretty good place for me to go picking for for stuff for my projects he's got a lot of stuff in there he doesn't want anymore and that's where I got all this stuff from uh, this was sitting in a pile next to his garage uh, these are actually maple logs uh, that were cut off of a maple tree in the backyard that started to die so I had him put them on his um, table saw and cut them square for me that's a pretty decent piece of wood I've got three or four of them and this is a piece of maple I turned down earlier today. Uh, I had a little trouble with this because this is this is pretty hard wood. 
um, it kept going off center and that's why I want to make a better chuck uh, but uh, you can see I turned a, a little taper there plus three grooves three or four grooves there just to practice turning it down um, I didn't measure anything when I turned this I just I tried to eyeball it straight uh, I held a ruler up to it it's it's fairly straight it's not bad for uh, for never using a wood lathe before um, I find it uh, quite different than running my metal lathe, that's for sure. Um, this was some of the bark that was left on the, on the wood, and there's some nice knots in there. I think it gives kind of a cool effect. What I'm, what I'm trying to do is, is make a stool, make a footstool uh, as a birthday present for my wife. She likes homemade gifts. So I built the lathe so I could build the present. Uh, and that's about it. For right now, I'm using this clamp right here to uh, try to keep the tailstock from slipping. And yeah, it doesn't work too great. That's why I'm going to make some improvements to the tailstock. I think I may have a friend of mine weld the tailstock for me. I've got some scrap uh, uh, iron, plates of iron. I'll just cut them and give them to him and have them welded. But it works pretty decent. Uh, pretty decent for free if. Um, you know, like I said before, if you know enough people, you can either trade or uh, uh, just scrap out looking for stuff so you can make things. But like I said, I wanted to make a birthday present for my wife, and she really wanted a footstool, so I decided to make the lathe so I could make the present. I also have some plans to turn some things for my train set um, so I can have some details and accessories for my train set. Uh, I've learned a lot about... Uh, wood turning just in the few times I've used it. Uh, I noticed the maple really dulls the dulls the tools pretty fast so you, you gotta make sure you have a nice sharp tool bit when you use it. Um, it's a little bit easier if, uh, if you try to round this up a little bit with a file or a wood rasp something that will take a lot of material off that, that keep, you know makes it a little bit easier when you go to turn this round, but like I said before, this was taken from a wood pile next to my dad's garage and he just cut them square for me and this was what I got from one of the squares of wood. Um, and that's that's about it. I, I, I plan on uh, putting this into a, a, a plug. I think I'm gonna put an electrical box right here with a stop and a start button uh, so I can make it a little bit easier to stop and start it in case of an emergency or something goes wrong I can turn it off quicker than uh, just uh, unplugging it you know you have to you have to kind of sort of think safely um, that's another thing I'm gonna have to junk pick from my dad's garage um, and then uh, I forgot to mention here I just I had a small um, Phillips head screwdriver bit oh, there's some oil in there uh, that I just stuck in the end of this, you know. But I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a better better tailstock for it. But it works great, and uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. And I hope this inspires you to maybe go junk picking somewhere uh, if your dad's got a garage and see what you can find for free and uh, see what you can make. Oh, by the way, the tools that I use to turn the cutting tools, I got those at Menards for seventeen dollars. So. I actually paid more for the tools to, to cut the wood than I did the lathe itself. But the total cost for the lathe was absolutely zero dollars. Take it easy, guys. Have a good day.